Civilization 4 here with the tutorial on advanced cannons. So let's get straight to Okay guys, cannons. now we're in the uh, the building area. That I made a test platform for us to use for the advanced cannons. I like to use advanced cannons instead of uh, cram cannons. I just happen to know advanced cannons a lot more. I could build a cram cannon, but I like advanced cannons a lot more. So. For the basics, the basic cram can, the most basic one you could possibly make. You put your advanced firing piece, because that's the main piece that it fires. Like, you know, pretty much says. Gauge increase. This will increase the size of your barrel and the size of your shell. And this one is just a gauge increase splitter, but it allows you to... You have to... Oh yeah, you have to connect them with this part right here where it's, you know, it's different than the other sides. You put it like right there and then it'll be connected. See how it's connected? Yeah. So then cooling units. This is one of the most useful parts, probably one of the most valuable parts on this thing because it allows your gun to shoot faster because it doesn't take as much time to cool the weapon. And then you need your auto loaders, which I'm just going to use uh, two you put those on there and once you have these uh, I'm just gonna put four why not once you have these all you really need to do is add your ammo and your uh, well you also need your manlet which what the manlet is pretty much where the gun can look so I personally like this one it's a lot bigger than the others but it I think it has more range of view so now that you have that on there you need to get your barrel and with the barrels, there's three kinds, which this barrel is the normal barrel, which is what you would normally want. But then right after it, you would want to get like a bore evaluator, which would pretty much what that does is it says right here. The bore evaluator, evacuator, whoops, I didn't say an evaluator, evacuator prevents gases from leaking back into the firing piece. It provides a modest reduction in cool down time but prevents or pre presents a weak point <laughs> on the barrel the effect does not stack so you can only have one of these like in real life tanks they have one they have these on their tanks and then they have a little bit of barrel after it and then they put their you know muzzle brake which the muzzle brake it makes less recoil but the shell doesn't go as fast i like i like the muzzle brake but i mean this ship thing doesn't really need it but i like to have it on there anyways Okay, now what the ship needs now is uh, basic, well not the ship, the gun, it needs a basic ammo type, and it needs also a thing to connect to the ammo, so I'm just going to make a basic ammo, why not? Alright, so the gunpowder casings, I always like leave a few of them, like two, on this one I'm only going to leave one, but I'm going to make this into say a, why not, an HE warhead. HE is pretty good. Um, I like fragmentation more, but okay, let's see where's it, where's it. But I like. But I mean, I'm just gonna do the HE just because it's cooler and it explodes. I'm gonna get the sabot head. It's a penetration head, as you can probably tell. Okay, now once you've done that, you need to get an ammo input feeder. What the ammo input feeder does basically is it connects your and you know your ammo into well connects this ammo to your ammo feeders basically your ammo loader your auto loaders and it puts it in your clips so you need to add clips which to clips you have to put on a certain way see where it's different you need to put it on like this and then when it's on there you just you would just simply need to add another one of these since you know this is covered up you can not can't really put it on there because this, this seems in the way uh, you just you could put them on the clips as well so you just simply just put on all these clips and it should be good why do I not have mirror mode on but okay then you when you click this ammo this is the ammo that's right here once you click it, you click assign to all assign unassigned intakes. Basically, assign all unassigned intakes to the ammo source. See, it's making noise, so that means it's loaded. Alright, this is the most basic can you can make, so it will fire. You know, 
That's the shell. It's a, uh, it's an okay cram cannon. I mean, I can make a lot better cram cannons, but this one is just a basic one, just to show you how to make, you know, a small cram cannon. Now we're gonna go to the larger cram cannons. So I'll be right back when I have it built, and so you can see okay, what it looks guys, like. Okay, guys. Now this is the advanced cannon, the larger one. See, it's more advanced than that advanced cannon, but see how much larger it is than that one. Like you know, because I decided, I mean, to make a my own design, which I'm pretty sure many people have done before, but I like to add a lot of ammo to mine. I don't know if. You know, it's a really good thing to add lots of ammo, but I enjoy adding lots of ammo because this gun can now, whoops, wrong buttons. This gun can now fire pretty fast, I guess. I mean, I guess not only too fast, but, you know, it fires an okay speed. But, say this was on a boat. Since the cans are pretty large, it would uh, most likely kick the boat around and possibly tip your boat over so one thing to prevent that is this is really useful this thing this this test draft thing doesn't really need it but I'm gonna put it on here because this is to show you that this is what you need to lower the recoil of the gun they're hydraulic yeah, hydraulic recoil absorbers you just put them under um can they have to connect to the uh any uh, any of these parts like coolers, um, gauge increasers, basic things like that. And this gun's really good for it because it can just have so many of them on there without having to take up much space. Because I mean, we were, I wasn't gonna use this bomb space for anything else really. I could have added more ammo slots, but I didn't because I knew I was gonna need some of these. And that is uneven, but that's okay. But that is how you make, well, I didn't really show you how to make it, but I mean, that's how you make a tiny cannon, tiny advanced cannon, to turn into a large cannon. I pretty much used the same, same basic style with this one. I just made two, two cannons. This is a dual cannon. Basically, what you need to do to make dual cannons, though, is you cannot have them touch each other, connect to each other, because if you do, it's going to, um, have one be the primary cannon and the other one do nothing. So you have to connect them like that. And now, with advanced cannons, what they can do that's just really cool that I like to do, is you can change the number of barrels. So this one can have like two barrels, and this one can have two barrels. See, now it's a four, four barrel gun. Which, I really like that feature on these guns, because then you can shoot more bullets at your enemy instead of having to shoot one individual one. And that sure may be a really powerful shot, but its accuracy might not be the best. So, okay, well, I'm waiting for these shells to load so I can show you what it looks like. Okay, it's loaded. So, since they have four barrels, they're gonna shoot four shells. These are, the, I made some new shells. These are fragmentation shells of a composite head and a penetration depth fuse. Which penetration depth fuse is this one right here. Basically what it does is, it tell it, it tells when it should fragmentate. Like, it, when it goes through enough armor, it will fragmentate. This one doesn't have that, so once it just, you know, hits it, it's gonna explode. But, that is the basic, not really basic, more like advanced, huh? a canon tutorial. And, so that's the video. Please like and subscribe, and have hey a guys, good day. Uh, Sorry for saying cram can so much through the video. I was meaning to say advanced cannon, so it was a quick little correction. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And, uh, have a good day.